Salut tout le monde. We're gonna watch another scene from Lupin. Assieds-toi. Assieds-toi. Sit down. Verbe s'asseoir. Um, to sit down, but really like to sit yourself down because it's reflexive. Je m'assois, tu t'assois. Assieds-toi, like sit yourself down. J'ai pas de cousin. J'ai pas de cousin. So notice he didn't say j'ai pas de cousin. He dropped that e. A lot of times in the word de, we're gonna drop that e. J'ai pas de cousin. Ah, maintenant t'en as Maintenant t'en as un. So now you have one of the thing that we just talked about, right? That on refers back to whatever we were talking about. So he's talking about the cousin, talking about cousins. And so he's saying now you have one of the thing that we just mentioned. If you don't have that, it doesn't really make sense. You can't say tu as un. It's, it's not clear what we're talking about. So that's why you need ton as un. Et ton cousin, il a un cadeau pour toi. Ton cousin, il a un cadeau pour toi. They do this a lot where they double the subject. Ton cousin, il a un cadeau pour toi. So your cousin, he has a gift for you. Toi, tu sors. Et moi, je rentre à ta place. Toi, tu sors. So you, you go out. Et moi, je rentre à ta place. À ta place, so in your place. Um, rentrer, really good verb to know. Rentrer, it's actually like re plus entrer. So entrer means to enter. So re-enter. We say this a lot when we want to say we're going home. Ah oui, il est tard. Je vais rentrer. I'm gonna go home. And then à ta place would be like in your place, but also in your position. For example, I say this sometimes. Si j'étais à ta place, um, if I was in your position, if it if it were me, par exemple. Mais attends, t'es complètement con quoi? Non mais attends. So wait, right? T'es complètement con. Really good word to know. It means stupid, but it's vulgar. Um, be careful with, with that word. You can say this to someone you know and it's fine. You can say this to someone you don't know and get in a fight. Parce que toi et moi, on se ressemble comme de vrais jumeaux. On se ressemble, we resemble each other. J'adore ce verbe. Ressembler à, par exemple, je sais pas à quoi il ressemble. Une semaine que t'es en quarantaine avec les nouveaux arrivants. Ça fait une semaine. So it's been a week. And you could add any amount of time after that. Ça fait deux jours. Ça fait trois ans. Et en prison, personne te connaît. Personne te connaît. So no one knows you. Personne te connaît. Um, personne, this word's kind of tricky. A lot of times people want to pronounce it like person, but it's not. It's like pair, like the word pair and then son. Personne. And it means no one. By itself, personne means no one. But if I say deux personnes, trois personnes, quatre personnes, then it means two people, three people, four people. Oh merde les menottes. Notice it's not even a complete phrase. You're just saying like, oh merde. And then thing after, right? This is what I help my private clients with a lot is how to communicate in French. It's not always saying the most complicated long phrases ever. Sometimes it's just, you know, a couple words and a gesture, a noise, a facial expression. Je suis vraiment con. Encore il a dit, je suis vraiment con. Comment j'ai fait pour pas penser à ça? Penser à ça. To think of. Like, kind of like in passing, right? Penser à. Ah ouais, um, j'ai pas pensé à ça. But if you say penser de, then it means like, what's your opinion of, right? So, qu'est-ce que tu penses de ça? And actually, I would say, qu'est-ce que t'en penses? Or, t'en penses quoi? So, I'd use that en again, referring back to something we're talking about. Ah ouais, t'en penses quoi? Like, we're talking about something, oh yeah, on va partir en vacances, nan nan nan. T'en penses quoi? What do you think about that thing that we just mentioned? Ah maintenant tu connais. <laughs> Surveillant! On a fini. Maintenant tu connais. So now you know. Surveillant, on a fini. So we have finished, right? On a, so we have, right? On a, and then just the past participle, on a fini. Hey, je sais pourquoi t'es là. Je sais pourquoi t'es là. I know why. So là, use a lot more often than ici. I don't know why, I hear it a lot more often than ici. Je sais pourquoi t'es là. I know why you're here. T'es fait sortir, je peux te faire revenir. Je t'ai fait sortir, je peux te faire revenir. I made you get out. It's like I got you out, but it looks kind of like I made you get out. And you can use faire in this way. Je t'ai fait sortir. And also, je peux te faire revenir. So I can make you come back. We have the verb venir, and we just added re in front of it. So revenir, revenir. Voilà, j'espère que ça vous aide. Si vous avez des questions, n'hésitez pas. I'm also really present on Instagram. If you ever have any questions, let me know. I'd love to help you. Et voilà. Bon, à la prochaine. Salut, au revoir.